I know that I have a lot of people in this room that know a lot about poverty and work with people who live in poverty. But what we have come to understand as we have done this work with our K through 12 educators, because that's the population that we work with, is that people think they know a lot about what it's like to live in poverty. I include myself in that group. I used to think that I knew quite a bit about living in poverty. But you come to understand that you really don't know and that you need to have experiences that really dig deeply and help you understand. During the next hour, you will be participating in a simulation, the goal of which is to allow you to experience the day-to-day -day realities of life for people living in poverty trying to survive. You've already been introduced to those of us that are facilitators. The idea is that we're going to be around, and if you have questions or concerns, you can find one of us. However, I want to make sure that I say to you that sometimes we're not going to tell you the answer because oftentimes there aren't answers and you have to figure out what to do. So we're not trying to be mean and it's not that we don't know the answers to some of these things, but it's part of the simulation that we not tell you, we say to you, what, would you, what do you think you could do? So let's talk about the family units. When you entered, you took a name tag and you were assigned to a family unit and you were given a packet of information. That packet that you have contains a description of your family and each of its individual members. It tells you what your source of income is, what your possessions are, and what your bills are. It has some identification documents in it, and it has various other items which you will need to survive the month. I need to reinforce the fact that this is a simulation. It's not a game. Sometimes because you're going to have play money and you're going to have play tickets and things like that, it feels like a game, but it's not. It's meant to be a real life experience. The statistics and situations that we use are real. They're based on real life experiences with people who live with a low income. Poverty is not a game for the 14.5% of Americans and higher percentages actually of New York State citizens whose lifestyles you're going to simulate. You're going to try to walk a mile in their shoes.